Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I will teach you how to connect a Flask backend to a React frontend. So in our backend, we are returning the data hello from Flask. And in our frontend or React, we are basically fetching that data. And we, and we can change our backend data to be, instead of hello, we can do greetings from Flask server. And if we save this, and if we refresh on the frontend, It'll say readings from Flask server, which is the data we got from our backend. So today we will learn how to make this. I'm going to assume that you already have Node.js installed, but if you don't, go ahead on over to this website and install it. So first, um, I've actually opened up a blank folder in VS Code, and we are going to be creating our front end and our back end folders here. So go ahead and click on these three dots, open up a terminal, and in the terminal, we're going to first create our front end. So we're going to do npm create v at latest. And I'm going to call this front end. And we're going to be using React so and JavaScript. So now we have to copy and paste these commands and run them. All right, so installing all of the packages will take some time. So I will be back when it's done. Okay, once it's installed everything, it should run um, our front end on here. So all you have to do is just open this. And this is our front end. Now, and to create our back end, what we're going to do is we're going to um, add a new folder here. We're going to call this back end. And in here, we're going to add a new file. We're going to call this main.py. And that's it. Um, so if we open up our front end folder, uh, we can go on over to source and we're going to be programming our front end here and our back end here. So let's just go ahead and delete everything. Type RFCE and click enter. Now, if the RFC command doesn't work for you, go on over to extensions and search for um, React and it should be the first one. So just install this for um, React code snippets. So now, um, in our app.jsx let's also import use state and use effect from react and down here we're going to make a new state variable we're going to call this message so we're going to do const message message and uh, set message is equal to use state and let's make this blank now um, let's go ahead and instead of this returning a div app, let's just make it return a div uh, curly brackets and in here the message. Now if we refresh here, we're not going to see anything because we haven't like fetched anything. So um, now let's program our backend. So on the main.py, um, let's uh, make a new split terminal. So on the down arrow, click it click on split terminal and click partial. Now here, we're going to be installing a couple of um, Flask libraries or like Python libraries for Flask. So we're just going to do pip install Flask and just do that. Now, once it's installed everything, for me, it's already installed. So it says requirement already satisfied. But once it's done all that, go to main.py and do from Flask import Flask and JSONify. JSONify. So and under here we're gonna make a new app. We're gonna do app is equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore. And down here we're gonna do at app dot route. Uh, let's do slash API. We're gonna make a new function. We're gonna call this um, let's do API. And here we're gonna return a JSONify of Hello world. Now, if all of this works, we're gonna do um, if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to uh, underscore underscore main underscore underscore underscore. We're going to app dot. We're gonna run this app. So we're gonna do app dot run and debug is equal to true. Now, the reason we're putting debug is equal to true, it's because if there's any problems, we'll be able to see it. So save this and uh, go ahead and just click run up here so it should be running on here so I'm just gonna open this and 
and it says URL not found because we're on just just a regular URL we're gonna have to do slash API and there we go it says hello world if we were to change this to let's say subscribe if we refresh it'll say subscribe so we've got our backend like programmed everything good so we can go ahead and um, go on over to our uh, react so now we're gonna make a function which fetches the data from our backend and returns it to or changes the message to that uh, message so under the state variable we're gonna make a use effect and in here we're gonna make a function and also after these curly brackets just add a comma and then a empty brackets so that way this runs every time the website loads and uh, in here we're gonna make a new um, asynchronous function so we're gonna do const fetch data is equal to async and in here we're gonna do const result so the result is going to be equal to await slash API now uh, wait oh yeah await fetch slash API and the reason that we did not just put um, uh, uh, localhost or one like all of this and then slash API it's because we're going to be adding a proxy in our front end so all we have to do is just put slash API and it'll work we will be doing that later so under here we're going to do const data is equal to await res.json so the data is going to be the result of this JSON right here. Now, under here, we're gonna put um, if data. So if so, if the data that we get is good, we're going to uh, set message to be that data. So there we go. So and also, let's just run this function down here. So fetch data. Now, if we refresh, we should get an error, or it should not do anything because we have to first. Well, now we have to set up our uh, proxy and our server. So to do that, go on over to vite.config.js, and under this plugin, we're gonna um, add a server. Server, and in here we're gonna add a, add a proxy, and in here we're going to do slash API now whenever we fetch the slash API which is right here we're going to need to make it go somewhere else so here let's put the target for where we want the the actual API to fetch and in here it should be this right here so co copy and paste that now do make sure to remove the slash API because our actual server is running on this and not all of this plus the API so just remove that now if we save this and if we refresh as you can see it'll work it'll say subscribe we can also like change this to whatever so we can do all this doesn't matter if we refresh there we go so yeah that is how you connect a flask backend to a react frontend if you enjoyed this video do leave a subscribe and like the video so thank you thank you for watching